Springboard is an online boot camp that offers education for various tech disciplines. Today I will be focusing on the software engineering track, my own focus of study. A quick note, I am still at the time of the recording a participant in the program, currently a little above 80% completion, and I wanted to give this review in order to answer a lot of the questions that I had going in, as well as give a few of my thoughts after completing the bulk of the course. Springboard has not paid me, nor has anyone else. These are my opinions. The review is divided into four sections, a general overview with my impression of the course, a quick part about ways to save if you are considering the program, my review proper where I dig into the specifics of what I did and did not like, followed by a quick summary of my thoughts, complete with a rating of the experience. Springboard Software Engineering Career Track is intended as a nine-month program to teach you to code, taking you from beginner to career ready. As of the time of this recording, it can be paid in a lump sum of $8,500 or monthly at $1,150. It was my choice to go with the monthly option. The pace of the program is largely up to students, so you can potentially finish in less than nine months and pay less. It has taken me seven months working pretty close to full time. There are ways to cut corners and complete it faster, but ultimately, who are you cheating then? There are also legitimate ways to save, and if you're budget-minded like me, I'll cover those in a little bit. Overall, since the in-person boot camps often range from $15,000 to $30,000, this makes Springboard seem like one of the more affordable options. So what do you get? The curriculum itself is taken from Rhythm School, a San Francisco-based boot camp that FYI costs about $23,000 and lasts three months, typical for in-person boot camps. There are five units covering JavaScript, Python, two back-end frameworks, Node.js and Flask, one front-end framework, React, and finally some algorithms commonly found in job interviews. The lessons are taught in a collection of videos ranging from 3 to 20 minutes. The instructor is Colt Steele, who in addition to once teaching at Rhythm School, has also made a name for himself by uploading a 60-plus hour web developer bootcamp on Udemy a few years back. If you're interested in Springboard, it's worthwhile to check out that Udemy course. It is often on sale, and you shouldn't have to pay more than $20 for it. I went through that course before enrolling at Springboard, and the main difference I found between the course you pay thousands for and the $20 course is rigor. The Udemy course is great, but there is nowhere near the amount of on-your-own projects, and certain less-than-thrilling topics like writing code tests are not covered. That said, there are still things I prefer about the Udemy course. Colt has more ownership over the material he is covering, and because of this, does a better job explaining topics conceptually, which helped me talk about coding better. Springboard lessons focus on introducing a wider scope of topics, but spend less time building up conceptual knowledge. To me, the main value proposition of Springboard is the weekly mentor calls. The student is matched with one mentor for the duration of the course, although you're free to change if you're not happy with them. The mentor serves two purposes. One, to motivate you to do the work, and speaking as someone who did the Udemy bootcamp, I can tell you that was something that I needed. And two, if the mentor is worth their weight, they can walk you through the problems when you are stuck. A word about my personal experience with my mentor, it took me a few before I found one that I was happy with. Springboard asks you to give the assigned mentor two weeks, but then you are free to request a change. The mentor I settled on was great, routinely giving me more than the allotted 30 minutes for weekly calls. He was competent and walked that fine line between just giving you the answer and helping you find it on your own. Obviously, the experience may vary from mentor to mentor and based on the student's preferences. Some of my frustration with earlier mentors included A, just being given the answer, and B, being given links to articles which after weeks of, of coding and watching videos was never particularly appetizing. Your mentor should be the answer you give when you are tired, disgruntled, and wondering, why am I paying for all this hassle? For me, it always was because my mentor was always worth it. That said, you are only guaranteed to meet with them once a week for 30 minutes, and there is no promise that they can give you more than that. They might have other students lined up right after you, and there certainly were times when I thought that 30 minutes wasn't enough and I craved a classroom environment where you can learn from other students. Springboard tries to replace this experience with Slack, but it's not the same as working with a fellow student to solve a problem in class. 
Also, without a teacher in the room, sometimes needing clarification about instructions for an exercise meant just waiting until the weekly meeting with my mentor. There is a TA chat box offered, but I often found this most helpful for when there was a piece of software or library that was not installing correctly on my computer. If your parents are paying for this and you don't care about wasting their money, awesome. Feel free to skip ahead a minute. If you're like me and paying with your own cash, here are a few ways to save. First, Google Springboard coupons. Obvious, right? But there was one when I enrolled that reduced my first month from $1,150 to $400, so it's worth checking out. Second, Springboard offers two pauses of up to three weeks during the course, where you will still have access to the curriculum, but you don't have your mentor calls. So you don't pay. This is perfect if you have vacation plans, just need a break, or like me, want to put three weeks of work into the course without paying for it. And finally, I'll mention one that requires a little planning and consideration. After my first month, I used what was called a freeze. I used a month, but you can use up to two months. You lose access to the curriculum and mentor calls, but I downloaded a whole bunch of exercise and did these during the month. This will decouple you from your current mentor. So like I said, use this route with some planning and consideration. Let's start out with those exercise slash projects. Man, are there a lot of them. The five sections of the course are split into units, which in turn are split into subunits, each which vary in size from five to 10 videos that almost always end with an exercise slash project. In fact, I'm going to just call them projects from here on out because while there are a couple of short ones with suggested completion times of one to two hours, the majority have suggested completion times of three to five hours or six to 10 hours, and a few even go up to 25 to 30 hours. There are 52 units in the course and close to 120 projects. Hitting a three to 10 hour project at the end of nearly every subunit can be like running into a brick wall. While the course does have two capstone projects that allow for a bit more creativity, more on that later, the projects are generally not that inspired and not connected to one another. Sometimes there are multiple projects in one project. While you could theoretically have fun styling a project, honestly the course is so stuffed with projects that you're shooting yourself in the foot if you ever want to complete the curriculum. It often feels like you are just endlessly starting again from the beginning. I would have preferred some of the projects to focus on aspects and then slowly build into a bigger project. The curriculum itself is largely copy and pasted from the in-person rhythm school boot camp without much consideration for how an online course differs. Also, remember that that was a three-month course and Springboard is a nine-month course, so I can only guess that some of these six to ten hour projects must have been given in the afternoon and then perhaps an instructor would go over them because there is simply no way they could have packed all of it into a three-month course. To be fair, Every project that is not an assessment offers a solution, but this can also be an issue in itself. First, many of the solutions have not been kept up to date and are often solved using different methods than the videos teach. Second, it sets up an inner struggle where sometimes all you need is just a little clarification, not the answer, but rather than waiting a week for your next mentor call, you look at the answer. And this is A, not very satisfying, and B, if the solution is not in line with what you have been taught, it only adds to your confusion. I often just begrudgingly went down the rabbit hole of YouTube videos, online articles, and stack overflow over posts, overflow posts, which to be fair, is often what real software developers do, but still begs the question, why am I paying for this again? The two capstone projects fit more into the vision that I had of Springboard before enrolling. Just working on my project during the week and discussing it with my mentor on Friday, my platonic ideal. I imagined I'd start my capstone project immediately after I enrolled and just keep adding everything I learned to it until it became an awe-inspiring portfolio masterpiece. However, the first capstone requires a knowledge of Python, Flask, and external APIs, which you will not have until you finish about 40% of the course. The second capstone, if you want to use something like React, as I did, you will need to have around 70% of the course complete. While technically you can do the course in any order, the way that it is set up, the units are not independent of each other. 
For instance, there are parts of the Node section that require knowledge gained in the Python section, even though the two sections use a different programming language. So set your expectations accordingly. Career Coaching Assuming you sign up for the career track with a job guarantee, you will have eight career coaching calls. If you are like me, you secretly suspect career coaching is all a big sham, waiting for a good website to eradicate the industry completely. I can't tell you how many times I was told it's all about who you know, networking. Cool. How does a single sentence encapsulate an entire industry? I tried five different coaches, and three of the five of them seemed to reaffirm my attitude. But two of them did suggest helpful ways of approaching companies and their managers. So maybe I should be more open-minded. Maybe. Finally, before I summarize the course and slap a number on it, I want to talk about the job guarantee. Springboard offers a money-back job guarantee as a way to incentivize you to enroll. If you do not find a job six months after you complete the course, you get all your money back. Do not let this be a factor when you consider to enroll. It's complete baloney. First of all, I was enrolled during the pandemic, and there is a clause, because of course there is, that if the U.S. unemployment rate goes above 6% at any time during your studies, that six months becomes a year and a half money back guarantee. The unemployment rate was never below 6% during my studies. So okay, fine. Still, if I follow the guidelines, apply to the required jobs per week, schedule the required amount of informational interviews a month for a year and a half and still no job, I get my money back, right? With such a broad safety net, how can they refuse, right? Unfortunately, there are a series of mock interviews at the end that were not mentioned. You get two tries for each, and if you fail them, you lose the guarantee. All I can say is that I am in the midst of failing them right now. Really, it just gives the impression that they don't really have confidence in the strength of their own curriculum. In summary, I loved my time with my mentor. The Springboard staff was responsive and professional. The video instructor was great, although considerably cheaper on Udemy. And convincing me career coaches are not part of some conspiracy is no small feat. But the curriculum. A bit more thought into modifying the course, given that it is not an in-person boot camp, would have gone a long way. Some more inspired exercises would really help. The fact that getting the curriculum right was not the main focus of Springboard was, in my opinion, a major knock against the boot camp. Still, I did learn a lot. Two languages, JavaScript and Python, two back-end frameworks, Node.js and Flask, React, a front-end framework. While there are many, many free or cheap online resources offering this, I think I needed a curriculum that said, here's what you need to be a developer, and a mentor to help me when I was stuck. If it was just the course, I would give it a solid 3 out of 5. It did what it needed to do, if not really exceeding my expectations. But the corporate nonsense around the job guarantee leaves a sour taste. Makes me knock off a point. But then I think, hey, my experience is mine, not everyone's, and maybe I'm being a little harsh. So I'll give half a point back. Springboard Software Engineering Track. 2.5 out of 5 stars.